Hello everybody, it is I, DJ Sexy Lips here to bring you some video game music with episode 5 of new RetroCore Classic Game Music. A couple things to address, you probably noticed some gameplay footage pop up in the last episode and this one. Uh, I'm working on perfecting that, I know it's rough, I know you can see me in the last episode. Um, basically ending the recording live. It, it, I'm, I'm learning video editing as I go, so bear with me. You get to see me suck at video games though while you uh, listen to the music, so that's a plus I suppose. Trying to make it a little spiffier around here if you will. I'm also adding chapters to the description, I don't know. That way if you don't want to listen to a certain song, you can just click and go to the next song or whatever song you prefer to listen to on the playlist. Um, yeah, so it's time to get into it. I've got lots of music. Usually it's about 20 tracks is what I try to shoot for. Hours worth of music. We got some Toe Jam and Earl from the Genesis to start us off. I am your host, DJ Sexy Lips, bringing you the hits of yesterday gaming style.
Funkotronic Beat from Toe Jam and Earl started us off. That is probably one of my favorite games on the Genesis. A lot of memories playing it to play with my brother, with friends. <laughs> one of my friends, I've probably told this story in the past, but um, on old retro core. But we uh, messed, we used to prank call, like what, what teenage kid didn't, you know, everyone did. So we uh, went to the sound test options and Toe Jam and Earl, the boogeyman. And we'd call people and just spam it, boogie, 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 over and over and over. So, yeah, uh, just a personal touch, I guess, I'd share. Then we had Atlan from Lagoon on the Super Nintendo. Uh, RPG not not too popular nowadays. Milky Way Station from Bangai O on the Dreamcast. And lastly, I mean, who doesn't know Dire Dire Docs from Super Mario 64? Next up, uh, if you got if you like eighties music, yeah, I got something for you. Here you go.
very much 80s inspired City Streets 2 Mango Tango Neon Jungle from Double Dragon Neon on the PlayStation 3. If you haven't played that game, you are missing out. They really, I think that's the best Double Dragon we've had in the last decade. You can now get that on uh, everything now in 2024. Steam, Switch, wherever you play your games at. You can get Double Dragon Neon. I highly recommend it again. Great music, just for the music alone. Uh, then we had Divine Bloodlines from Castlevania Rondo of Blood on the PC Engine, not the neutered Super Nintendo version. And then Final Fantasy VIII Circuit, Chocobo Racing, PS1, one of my all-times. And lastly, Truck and Train Theme, Bad Dudes from the NES. Uh, listeners from the old Retrocore podcast might know I uh, made up some lyrics to that. It's basically, I'm a bad dude, I'm a bad dude, I'm a bad dude. And it goes on and on like that. And I am so god dang bad. I'll kick your butt with the chucks or a knife for my fist. I am so god dang bad. There's some coke. And yeah, it's still a work in progress 12 years later. I am your host, DJ Sexy Lips, bringing you the hits of yesterday gaming style.
you haven't played Super Princess Peach on the DS, that first track was from that, La Di Da Plains, I go play that game. Uh, that is the closest I think we're going to get to Mario 2, in terms of how it kind of plays. It's not exact Mario 2, I know, but you can pick up enemies and chunk them at each other, and I play the game every year. I, it's one of those games I will replay once a year, just like Mario World and Chrono Trigger. Uh, followed by Jazz Jack Jackrabbit on the Microsoft DOS Diamond Dust Diamond Dust. I hope I pronounced that right. Then Streets and Sewer from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Amiga version, the computer from the 80s, not the Nintendo version. Sounds like the Amiga could slap, don't it? And I know Rock Solid conquers Bad Fur Day. How could you play Rock Solid again? I got so much hate for Rock Solid back in the day because it's so long. You know what, just dance bros and girls, and just dance. That's all I can say, six minutes of dancing. Now it's time for Mandatory Sonic, uh, nothing really too special with this one. Just kicking things off with Marble Garden Zone from Sonic 3 and or Knuckles.
I lied about uh, Marble Garden Zone kicking us off there, didn't I? We had Jungle Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog on the Game Gear. Then we had Marble Garden Zone from Sonic 3 and or Knuckles on the Genesis. And Panic Puppet Zone Act 1, Sonic 3D Blast also on the Genesis. And lastly, Mystic Cave Zone, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 also on the Genesis. I hope you enjoy the Sonic music because it's always going to be in the show even if I repeat it. I try not to repeat tracks. The Sonic's eventually going to get repeated. And I will play some of the newer Sonic music even though I'm not the biggest fan. But that's not the point. The point is to share video game music to other video game people that like the music. We're coming up at the end of the show here. I still I killed Request. I'm still going to do the doubled in and now. So... If you don't know, I play, pick a track, and then I pick some kind of remix, usually an OC remix or whatever. So first up, Overworld from good old Super Mario Bros. 2, followed by Super Buck 2 by Estratosphere on OC Remix. This is one of my favorite remixes ever on that website. Then we have good old DuckTales The Moon on the Nintendo, followed by DuckTales To The Moon or Bust by Pirate Crab. Also on OC Remix. Links to those songs are in the description. So you can go download those songs and listen to them yourself. Thank you so much for listening to episode 5 of New Retrocore Classic Game Music. I have been your host, DJ Sexy Lips, bringing you the hits of yesterday gaming style. Thank you.